But hey, y'all. So I am in the mood for a waffle, but I am doing some keto right now. So I'm going to show y'all a chaffle. Have y'all ever heard of a chaffle? <laughs> but the chaffle is your answer to a waffle keto style. Okay, the main ingredients for a chaffle is just cheese and egg. But I saw this recipe um, a little while ago that included almond flour, which is keto friendly, um, along with other ingredients like baking powder, whatever the case may be. I can't find my baking powder, but I've done this without baking powder before and it was good. And then just to kind of make it um, add a little bit more flavor to make it feel a little bit more like a um, waffle. I add a little monk fruit um, sweetener, which is keto friendly, as well as some cinnamon. But we gonna put all of this on a waffle, and y'all gonna see what it look like. But just want to show y'all what and tell y'all what I'm doing. So far, I have egg and cheese in here. So for every half cup of cheese, you will put one egg. And so because I want to make a Belgian style waffle, I went ahead and doubled it, and that's two eggs and a whole cup of cheese. Now, the almond, you can go ahead and mix this right now, and that will be what they would consider a chaffle. But, if you're trying to kind of combat some of the eggy flavor to it, and you want to make it look, well, be the texture, a little bit better texture, more like a waffle, kind of crispy, then that's when you can um, add some almond flour. Now, you can also add coconut flour if you're trying to keep it uh, keto friendly. Um, but if you're gonna do coconut flour, you're gonna add a little bit um, less of coconut flour, uh, but just make sure you look that ingredient up. But this is a uh, whole ground almonds, y'all. So if you open up the bag, you can smell that it smells just like almonds. But we're gonna put, um, it's asking for, for every half cup of uh, cheese, we're gonna add one tablespoon. So. Therefore, we're gonna add four since we doubled it. I'm sorry, for every half cup is asking for two tablespoons. So because we're adding, uh, we did double, we're gonna add four. Try to make sure I don't put too much in there, but at the same time, you wanna put enough. All right, and so once we do that, then I'm gonna come in and that's when I'm gonna add a little bit of the uh, monk fruit sweetener. Now this is optional as well, and the, and the recipe did not tell me to do that, but I did this the last time, and it helped for sure make it taste a little bit better. And you know, obviously when you have these type of sweeteners, they are kind of more concentrated than just normal sugar, because it's not sugar, it is a sugar replacement. Um, and I like it better than Splenda. Then put a little bit of cinnamon in there. Then we're gonna mix it. And I'm gonna come back and show y'all what it's like once I mix it all together with the egg. Okay, so this is now this mix. I know it looks like this is not gonna end up being a waffle, but y'all just hold on, just hold on. I'm gonna get make sure that the waffle iron is good and hot. Spray it down with a little Pam, and I'm gonna come back and show y'all. I also wanted to add that chaffles, people use or make chaffles for like sandwiches and things like that. So if you are uh, just want to make you uh, something that feels like bread or tastes like bread or whatever the case may be to put for a sandwich, then you really wouldn't need like the sweeteners and the cinnamon and things like that. You can add whatever you want to add to it. Make it your own. I saw a recipe for adding jalapenos and cream cheese to it. Another recipe adding some fruit or like dried fruit or whatever the case may be if you want it to be like that. So whatever you want to make of it, y'all. I just want to come back and say that. All right. This mixture <laughs> on to that, y'all, and see, let y'all see. Okay, y'all, so we're going to work pretty quickly to try to get this in there. And y'all are going to see. Oh, let me make sure I get all of it. All right. Now, go ahead and close it up. And we're going to turn that and flip it. Get it ready just like a normal waffle and we gonna wait and y'all as it the last time it started kind of seeping on out 
but that's fine. We want it to kind of get a little bit bigger and, and, and you know, texture wise and everything. And that's all because of that um, almond flour. But once that's done cooking and you, you want to make sure that it's nice and crispy too. So even when that light comes on, I'm going to let it sit just a little bit longer just to make sure. Oh, see, y'all can see a little bit of it coming out now. Mm, just, just nothing but a little clean up. That's all. That is all. Turkey sausage over here on the side. We're gonna scoop this out. Ooh, it's hot. All right, we're gonna scoop that out. And this is what we got. Hold on, let me come back with my uh, syrup. All right, so my waffle is done. Um, and can y'all hear that? It's called texture, like a waffle, crispy like I like it. Now, you could have taken it off fast if you were a person that likes soft waffles, um, but you can use any cheese, y'all, for this. I use Cheddar Jack for it, but if you usually typically look up a chaffle recipe, a lot of times they'll call for mozzarella cheese just because it'll give it a, a normal look instead of kind of a yellowy, but hmm, any cheese works, y'all. But I know y'all didn't think that I was gonna come through with some old sugary maple after I did that. Nope, I got some sugar-free maple flavor. I'm just gonna drizzle it. The only thing about this one, this is a little bit more runnier, y'all, but it's, it tastes just like maple syrup. Put some on that. Again, with my turkey sausage, y'all, and that is a keto-friendly breakfast, and it looks good if I do say so myself. And you can put some butter and stuff on there if you want to, but. I don't think it needs it. Got all that cheese and stuff in there. I don't really need it. But anyway, I have to enjoy my breakfast, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy it. And you just pick it up out just like a normal waffle. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. Take care.